All right, so just to recap, this is Arch Acadia. Uh, we're going to be playing Jungle Gragas. And the way that we're going to be handling this matchup is we're going to rely on the buddy system. We're never going to go to we're never going to try to go solo kill somebody. We're going to um we're going to make sure that people will come for us, that we've got good communication and we'll discover that throughout the game. Like uh and uh with counter jungling, we're going to make sure that uh Volley Bear if he comes after somebody because he's great for engage, level 3, he's good. And uh we're going to try if if we can prevent um him from getting anyone we're just going to disengage in that fashion so once we get once i get gragas to level three or yeah once i get gragas to level three most likely um because volley bear is going to want level three to be most effective in his ganks um i am going to uh watch watch the river mid lane and bot lane and see what uh see what occurs so we're just gonna hang out mid lane bot lane we're gonna see if people overextend we're gonna see if mid overextends see if they make a mistake capitalize on that all right so who's who's got the hang up what's going on oh, looks like we're waiting for garen He's at a solid 51%, guys. It's that it's that it's the fact that he has no shirt. That the his his computer can't take it. He's like, oh man, Garen, no shirt. Oh, oh! can't take it. That, all right, he's hundred percent. Fifty one to a hundred. Only my if only my test scores were like that, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go 100 machete, two pots, warding total. And one of the things that uh, Volley likes to do commonly, especially especially on the uh, on this side, Volley likes to steal my red. We're going to prevent him from doing that. Walk over here. And walk up here. No ward there. Oh, look, it's a volley bear. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, one. One flash just taken down. Yeah. Oh, it looks like they got first blood. So if they invade, I'll have to give it up. So they're using quite a few of their abilities. I'm on it. So Volley, I would say they're committing a lot to this. But it might be justified, since they blew a lot of, uh... oh, oh, they got him. So yeah, so now it's on our favor. Leave my guys behind. All right, that's fine. So yeah, so it's uh.
So it's definitely good to know that they were going to do that. All right. So we got a, looks like we got a one for one type situation. We can make something happen. The Thresh can get a, a pull. Thresh can get a hook. Get a hooky hook. And a watch bot. Just gonna zone bot. I think we put a lot of damage on Graves. He's gotta go back. An ally has been slain. So yeah, this volley bear is definitely uh, doing some work. Volley Bear is definitely active. So we're just going to uh, prevent uh, Garen. There you go. So Volley had his passive, he was able to get some extra health. So and he's very uh he's very active this match. And uh I kinda felt I could do something, but sadly I could not. Alright, so we're gonna go Trailblazer. Yeah yeah. So yeah, in this case, uh it was good that I helped Zed out a little bit, but where I'm going to shine is bottom lane. to wait for a thresh right here. So we're just going to clean that up. Experience and some gold. All right. Now 
Now, Bolly Bear knows the, the timing to this, so I'm gonna have to be... Check for a ward in here, and there is none. Okay, we're gonna see if this does anything. Oh, look at that, it got volley. But yeah, he's doing a good job. He's even like, um, doing a good job invading. Because he knows, like, I'm camping bottom. I just think it's more effective to concentrate my efforts on bottom and make sure that we don't have any roamers. Like this Garen, I don't want him to make sure he doesn't get right there. Let's keep him away. I have my ultimate. All right. Your turret has been destroyed. So Nara's having a hard time top lane, but it's, he's fighting an Echo. It's not the, not the... It's definitely not the end of the world. And our bot lane is doing it so good. Alright, so Morgana did a great job of making sure... And I'm just going to... Alright, so... Ash went a little overboard there. What's up, Volley Bear? Got nothing. If they want to pick up Dragon, there's not a whole lot I can do at this moment. Careful. Don't worry about it, guys. Alright, so now I can get my Cinder Hulk. And some boots. Alright. So they're ahead in kills by a little bit. Our bot lane is doing better than theirs. So, protecting them is. Protecting Ash, I would say, is top priority in this game. And just uh, disengages and whatnot. This person. Oliver. It's gonna scare him off. Yeah. 
gonna go bot. But I need to wait for Ash. going buddy oh ho, ho. nowhere to go or Morgana right all right so what do you guys think you think uh, bot lane was a good choice to uh, concentrate on I feel like it is. Now, I just saw Volley Bearer up top. So I'm going to see if I can do a little on my own way. Oh, man. What did I just do? That's fine, I got away. Classes there. Now I might. I, I have my. Uh... Alright, I'm just gonna let them. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh, can I, can I live? Can I live? Yes, I can live! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I live. I live! Alright. That hardworking volley, man. Come on. So let's see. I want. Oh. Let's see. I kind of want. Ninja Tabi. Hmm. I'll go with Mercurial Treads. I'll get my ward and more tankiness. Um, do I want some magic resist? I think I want defense. Defense item. We're gonna go for a frozen heart. I'm actually going to undo that. Get a vision ward, two pots. All right, so what I've achieved thus far is some uh, map management, meaning we can safely move around the map. Uh, yeah. So my guys can sort of like handle themselves without me. Basically keeping these guys interested in, a, in me. Oh, that's fine. Again, we're not to... Uh... We're not, uh, we're not an assassin. If we can get help, then that'd be awesome. If we can't, that's all right.
Come back. There we go. Ah. Didn't make the leap. But yeah, that was uh that was a far barrel toss. That's all right. So we're just going to uh Control, uh, control these guys where they go and whatnot. So yeah, that's what you want to do, as Dragus. Control. Think about control. of the map. You're not an assassin. You do, you would like to control objectives, but they kind of, uh, got ahead on that one. Warning. Control. Alright, so Ash really shouldn't have walked in that ward. We had uh we had the place pretty covered. So I'm just kind of, uh... So I can't control everything that my, uh, guys do. But, uh... Controlling where the, uh... The enemy goes is important. Because if I can flank them and they go the wrong way, hopefully they'll wait for us. Yep, that's right. They they waited an all right amount. Zed went a little Zed went in a little sooner than I would like, but that's fine. Let's see what we can capitalize on. So the rest, so the, the other, the, the other team is doing a great job, um, taking initiative with the, uh, with the top lane. And get that.
So Nar was not doing very good in the top lane. But... In team fights, we're about- we're, we're doing pretty good. Things are fairly even. Now, I don't feel comfortable with uh, doing Baron. Especially, like, no wards. So that was dangerous. Really dangerous. Alright, I can't hear him anymore. There you go. That was really dangerous! Oh my goodness. Big mistake there. Baron is super tanky. And that's probably a tanky echo. Yeah, somewhat tanky. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. So I definitely need some magic resist. Zed's able to pick up some kills. For the area before doing dragon. Alright, so they actually got the dragon, unfortunately. I actually thought I pressed it at the exact same time. But that's quite alright.
All right, so we uh, we should extend all lanes actually. We don't need to commit so many people to mid. So they're, they're having a bad time when it comes to team fighting. Alright, boys, alright! Good boys. All right. So, we're we so we got some uh 20% cooldown, 10% cooldown. So, one more cooldown should do it for us. Tanky cooldown. Mm, let's see. Iron locket. It's pretty solid. Yeah. What is that? Okay, we're gonna get an iron locket. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's what you wanna. Uh, that's what you wanna think about with uh, with Gragas. Make sure that you are all about protecting other people, using your CC to line things up.
Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so that was a good game because we could have lost. And it had a lot to do with... Okay, so Gnar was losing top lane pretty bad. Um, but you can see how you can mitigate um, the advantages of the other team um, with proper team fighting. And how do you properly team fight with Gragas? You throw those barrels and you... You don't stop. All right, so we got some good numbers. We got two, two, twenty. GG. So we're gonna honor Stuffy the Cow because uh, they said GG, and it's always wow. You you took one. You lost, but you still GG. Good job, man. Um, Ash doing good. Zed was was. For for us uh, for an assassin a ballsy assassin you expect uh, you know th those are decent numbers twelve seven he wasn't dominating but he was making plays he was trying to get things done and Nar Nar was our was our guy that just had so much trouble top lane although in uh in in fights he was still useful that's why you don't want to uh, bash your guys for doing bad. You just want to keep doing what you're doing. Make sure that the guys that you helped along, the ADC and Thresh, um, and make sure. And Zed was handling his own pretty much. So he was doing a good job. And making sure that you control where the fights are going. Make sure your AD carry is in a good position. Make sure you're CCing the right people. Make sure you're keeping away people like Volibear away from your ADC. And that wasn't easy. That volley bear knew what he was doing. He was he was doing work that entire he was doing a lot of work all over the map. And if you look at like Nar's level, he's the highest level of us all. And he 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 probably was having a, a tough game and he's a good Nar player. But uh you can really you can turn people's uh deficit into a benefit if you concentrate on the big picture because and then Garen he's 172 he could have Garen can Garen can cause so many problems he can just dash in and dash out heal up and then come back he and he's got the right items he's got the war monks and all this other stuff um but yeah i'd say uh echo echo was falling off in damage um he uh he was going partial he went for a trinity and he was going for some cc so he was he's the cc he's building a cc uh slightly tanky slightly damaged echo um i've seen echoes it might have been better for him to uh go uh build water or you know go for that blade of the rune king um but if you see on them They've got no Blade of the Rune King. Zed has at least one Blade of the Rune King. And on Ash, I feel like she can go Blade of the Rune King early. She had, I think, I feel like that she can. But it looks like she was going for it last minute. She could have been. Or she was going for a, what was it? A, uh, for Zed. She could have been going through a blood, she could have been going for a Bloodthirster for survivability. But, uh, so our guys, looks like we had uh, a double. We're going for double locket. Um, that's all right. I should have paid attention a little more to that. But I, I wanted to go locket for some extra health and some magic resistance to boost the magic resistance a little bit. I've been, you know, all our teams to survive. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. So I am. I like that match. I like when it's not too hard, and you gotta you gotta work on things. You gotta think about things to 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 get ahead because so many people are in that position. We're like, what do we do? You know, what plays do we make? How do we make our champions efficient? How do we control the map? What what important steps do we need to take? So I hope you guys learn something um, with this one, Gragas Jungle. This is Arch Acadia. I'm gonna sign off uh, for.